good kitten internet. Uh, today I thought, well, I don't have a whole bunch of time, so I thought I would talk about my working setup. So this is my improvised working desk, complete with giant photo of Boo Kitty. Um, so yeah, Mero indeed. <coughs> so I have my work machine down there, plugged in via, well, let me show the horrible rat's nest of cables, I guess. Um, plugged in via DisplayPort HDMI adapter. This computer actually has an HDMI port, but the HDMI port's 1.4. This DisplayPort adapter is for HDMI 2.0. So the HDMI cable is plugged into this 4K TV. So I now have 4K at 60 hertz. Um, I have my little tripod that I use for the video calls. I put it up on top of these um, two Takedo expansions because this is about the correct height. Should probably add a third box, to be honest. Um, I have my Blue Yeti mic plugged in. It's currently muted. Uh, reason for that is so I can handle video and voice calls because I've been doing a lot of those while in um, COVID-19 lockdown. Uh, I have a little adapter here. That way my housemate can actually use the TV as well for his little... Um, kind of happy hour type of get-together on Fridays, and today's Friday, so. Um, two pairs of headphones. This one's wired in right now, because these are wired headphones. Um, it's actually plugged into the Blue Yeti. This is how I hear people. These are my wireless headphones, that way I can listen to music. Should probably charge them. <clears throat> this is my anxiety medication. Um, it actually works fairly well for um, me because it's, real, it's rather low sugar. Unfortunately, it's using an artificial sweetener, which I'm allergic to, but there's very little of it in there, so I barely react at all from it. So I've been taking one of these roughly once a day whenever I can tell that my jaw is hurting due to me clenching my teeth constantly. Uh, let's see, other things. So I have this stand over here that I will put either my tablet, which is right there, or my phone onto to listen to music. Um, so I have audio connection. That's the reason why they're speakers. It's not plugged into the computer. It's plugged in for here. Um, audio connection if I'm using my tablet, because for some dumb reason, Google removed the freaking headphone jack from my phone. Anyway, um, that way I can listen to things. I also have a USB-C cord plugged into that little search protector. Um, that way I can charge whatever device that I'm using. Alternately, if I need to use my personal laptop for anything, which I use for work purposes every so often, then I will plug my work laptop in, or my home laptop into this. Otherwise, this is my um, keyboard. It's clacky. You may have heard it in a few of my Let's Play videos. Um, these are blue switches. Um, these are actual Cherry MX Blues. Um, this was a, just the a cheap keyboard. It cost 30 bucks, I want to say. Uh, trackball, because I use a trackball. At the moment, it's connected via Bluetooth, because my work computer has Bluetooth. Um, but you can see power switch down there. Little, this is an uh, Logitech MX Ergo trackball. I don't know if I've actually ever mentioned that I'm a trackball user. Um, I like trackballs, and I've been using trackballs since I was, oh, would have been seven? Seven, eight, somewhere in that area. Um, I just prefer them for everything. Uh, the only problem is when my thumb starts having some issues because I'm using it too much. But thumb overuse is actually less of an issue than wrist and arm and shoulder overuse. So these tend to feel better. And this one holds up instead of the old traditional one, which is flat. And you can see the tension in my wrist. Admittedly, I'm standing up right now. Um, I have a box cutter here because I keep receiving packages for the project in the basement. And that's really about it, except for one other thing. So let me scoop my chair in, because I need to set up for this anyway. So I'm just using my normal chair. It's one of those really expensive fancy chairs. I bought a display model of it, so this one was a little less expensive. And my green screen. Um, you have potentially seen this in other videos. So what I do 
So I set the green screen where it's up against Ian's, uh, Ian's my housemate, um, Ian's little um, cabinet for holding some of his older games, along with the light. This happens to form a three-point system, so one against the cabinet, one against the floor, one against the light. So it's relatively stable. Unfortunately, it actually pushes the light. You can see it bouncing a little bit, and that's not me bouncing. Uh, it pushes the light because it's not quite aligned properly. So I use this, kind of like so, to give myself a nice little cubicle area. That way people don't see the horrible mess behind the green screen. Also, it's sound insulating, especially when I take the door that nobody ever seems to realize is actually here and close off my kitchen. So now I can't hear refrigerator noise. I don't carry noise around for my partner, who's upstairs and hopefully asleep, although I doubt it. And yeah, that's really about it. Just since Fridays I don't have all that much time, I just want to do a quick vlog, and I just knocked over the green screen. Ah, this is the problem with this setup. What I should do is have one of those hooks up into the ceiling and just hang the green screen from it. But one, this is temporary, even though it's temporary for multiple months, but it's temporary. And two, I'm terrible at actually doing work like that. Anyway, bye.